Hello friends, this patient has simple dermoid cyst of the left ovary that is approximately 4 centimeter cyst and right side PCOD. So, we are using supra umbilical port that is approximately 5 centimeter above the umbilicus, a stab wound is given and then various needle is introduced inside the abdomen. After that we will do the irrigation suction and hanging drop test just to make it sure that we have the various needle inside the abdomen and in hanging drop test in the disposable various needle there is a ball that ball will sink down and that will give you idea of the inside various needle. Now insufflation is started here we are using the preset pressure of 15 and we will wait till the actual pressure reach to the 15. And for that minimum amount of gas required is 1.5 liter and maximum is 6 liter depending upon the you know the size of the patient, bubble preparation, muscle relaxation and the parity. So, we can see homogeneous distension of the abdominal cavity is started and slowly slowly double digit is coming and now preset pressure is reached to 15. Once it is reached to 15 we will take the various needle out and then we will enlarge the incision to put the optical port. So, now various needle is out and with the 11 number of knife we are enlarging this wound either side to make it 11 mm. And now this optical trocar will be introduced and that we are using reusable optical 10 mm port. And once this port is introduced, you will get a hissing sound with the tip of the trocar. We can see here hissing sound is started and then trocar will be introduced and taken out and then the telescope is introduced inside. Here we will use two ipsilateral and one contralateral port to perform the surgery and first step is all the small bubble has to be moved up above the aorta. Just patient head is 30 degree down, so we can see the entire bubble is moved up. Now we can see here this is the abdominal aorta visible, this is aorto iliac axis and here we have a right common iliac and this is left common iliac vessel. This is the sacral promontory which is the highest peak of mountain and it is very easily visible and here is the internal iliac vessel and this is external iliac, right side this is ureter, right side of ureter crosses the external iliac vessel, left side of ureter crosses the common iliac vessel. So, you can easily identify the ureter and if you will push the telescope in the ovarian fossa, you can see the entire course of the ureter which is coming into the and going towards the you know bladder. Now, this is the triangle of doom, here is the external iliac artery and vein, this is the round ligament going, here is the deep ring and uh, this area is the triangle of pain and here the GFN that is genital branch of genitofemoral nerve which is the most lateral part of the female lateral wall pelvis. Here we can see this is a medial umbilical ligament and this is inferior epigastric vessel of the right side. And here we have the deep ring, if hernia is there it will be indirect, if it is here then it will be direct. Here this is the Cooper ligament area and this is the medial umbilical ligament. And this is the median, median is obliterated urecus and this is the medial umbilical ligament of left side and here is the inferior epigastric vessel of the left side which is visible. Now this is the sigmoid colon and these adhesions of sigmoid colons are normal which is present congenitally and it is not a pathology. Now we should push up the ovary and then pull it with the IP ligament in the abdomen and now it is ready for surgery. But before starting the surgery we will use endo bag and here we are using commercially available endo bag that is called endo catch. This endo catch is uh, very good because it is self retaining, it has a metal ring and once you will push it automatically it will open and it will re remain open and it can lift the ovary also and it is quite uh, tear resistance and the cut resistance as well. So, ovary is introduced into the endo bag, you can see some of the epiploics of the sigmoid is also coming, but take care fimbria should or tube should not come in the endo bag. Now, we will start giving incision with the harmonic over the anti major ovarian border and this is started with the tip of the harmonic and care should be taken that it should be superficially, so superficially it should touch so that there should not be any puncture of the cyst. 
and the inferomedial traction of the harmonic should be taken, Teflon jaw should be towards down so that it should not overshoot and touch the endo bag. And now it is slowly slowly incision is given over the ovarian cortex. After that we will take a grasper in the left hand and one uh, Maryland in the right hand and slowly slowly trying to enucleate the cystic wall from the ovarian cortex. So, with the opening the jaw of the Maryland you can make a good plane and try to separate. Sometime if you feel that entire ovarian cortex wall is not cut then you can use again seizures or harmonic and then we can extend the depth of the incision so that appropriate but capsule should not be touched with the tip of the harmonic. So, we can see this is the cyst and uh, this cyst is occupying the almost entire ovary. And now again we will use Maryland and slowly enucleation will continue. This yellow color what you are seeing this is epiploic of the sigmoid this is not a part of the tube or the fimbria. So, this is a band you can see which is coming in the way which is crossing over the cyst. So, if these type of bands are there then it is better to cut it again with the harmonic and ideally we should try to keep the convex edge of the Maryland towards the cyst. that ovary should always remain in the endo bag because in 60 percent of the cases of the dermoid when you will try to separate it, it will puncture and that a spillage should be inside the endo bag, it should not contaminate the abdominal cavity. Now, here again it is a harmonic which is cutting this band so that further enucleation will continue. Sometime you have to hold the cyst also, so that you can optimize the pushing and pulling action over the cystic wall. These little bit oozing you should not try to use any energy because this will stop itself because those are not the bleeding those are just the oozing and that does not need to give any attention because excessive use of the current is not a good idea to do for the ovary because that can you know create the follicular damage. So, we are holding it and trying to separate. Holding the cystic wall you can see already it is puncture as soon as it is puncture immediately we will stop surgery, suction is introduced and first is to suck all the fluid and suck the endo bag also. So, that the fluid should not go all around you can put the suction inside the uh, cystic uh, cavity and you can suck all the fatty material or hair sometime hair will be there sometime nail or bone also is found in the dermoid cases. So, it is empty now because suction has sucked all the fluid which is inside the cavity. Now, it will be very easy to hold because already it is collapsed. So, now it can easily be held and then you can further continue to take the entire cystic wall. Sometime when you are separating it your grasper can slip. So, it is better that in that condition that you should wrap the grasper around the cystic wall. So, that it will not slip and traction can be optimized. This wrapping technique is good because it will hold it better and we can see entire cyst is out. After that you will examine the cyst cavity again for any residual dermoid or any second cyst and just this way you can open and we can see there is no cyst nothing is there. This bulge you can see is for the ovarian ligament that bulge is there we can see this side and here this is ovarian ligament. So, do not worry there is no any cystic remnant and entire ovary is without any cyst. You can push it to the ovarian fossa and after that you can close the endo bag and it was very a small cyst so directly it will come out. You do not have to worry about and uh, 
this endo bag has a purse string. So, once you will close it, mouth will close and easily it will come out. We can see there is no bleeding, absolutely everything is fine, it is dry. So, excessive electro surgery is not required. Now, we will do the ovarian drilling of the right side of the ovary. Now, this is the ovarian ligament we are holding and this is PCOD needle. Polycystic ovarian drilling is better to do by PCOD, not by hook because hook is L shaped and that creates some burn over the surface. Take care of iliac vessel because we are resting the ovary over the psoas muscle. So, be careful that your PCOD needle should not uh, overshoot and um, prick the iliac vessel. So, generally 4 pole should puncture, 40 watt current should be used, 4 millimeter depth only you should puncture. So, minimum 4, maximum 8 you can give depending upon the size of the ovary. So, this ovarian drilling is over and you can see fluid has come out. Now, we will do little suction irrigation so that it will clean any of the residual content if it is spilled out and we will leave some fluid inside also so that there will be no adhesion. So, after irrigation you will suck the cul de sac and then we will leave some of the fluid inside so that adhesion will not happen. And now, the it is must that the port which you have used for the removal of the dermoid that is 10 mm. So, it should must be port closure. So, here we are using the cobbler's needle for the port closure and that will be pricked with the vicryl number 1 and it is pricking except a skin all the layer will be taken and you will prick the <coughs> this suture and after that from other side again you will prick and you will take this suture out. So, this is very easy to do the port closure with the cobbler's needle and uh, there is a small thread in the cannula. So, we have to be taken care when we clean the cannula by the sponge sometime this thread, but you have to take care this thread should not enter into abdominal cavity. If it is entered you should pick it up and take out. So, now this is cobbler's needle from other side and again it is holding the same vicryl and it will be taken out and then you will tie outside a skin has to be closed separately. So, this is holding and it is taking out. So, this is a very simple case. Thank you very much for watching this video.